Hello and welcome to this new video. It is a part of a list, so if you are new, please take a look to the previous videos because they are all connected. You will find the link on the description below. In today's video, we will see how to control an LED with an Android app that I created with MIT App Inventor. The new thing about this video is that I will be using the MQTT protocol and not the usual client-server communication mode. I found that the ESP8266 more stable and reliable with the MQTT mode, so I invite you to try it. Basically, the Android app will publish on the topic light, and the Node MCU will be subscribed to that topic. This is the final result. Before we start, I advise you to take a look to the videos related to MQTT, which are basic MQTT operations and the communication between two ESP boards. Go to the category resources, you will need to download and extract uh, this file. We will use it later for the Android app. This is the official link of the uh, extension. Now I will make uh, the program for the ESP8266 that controls uh, the LED with MQTT. I have already installed uh, the Mosquito Broker on my uh, computer. My program is now ready, I will upload it. I 
I will publish on and off from my computer to check my program. And as I see here, it's working. Let's go to make the Android app. This is the site of MIT App Inventor. You need to have a Gmail account. The first thing I will do is to import the MQTT extension that I already downloaded. Now I will make the interface of the app. Uh, this is the uh, title part. Now I will add a button that uh, connects uh, to the broker. I will add a label to show if I'm connected or not. Here you should add the extension. Put the address of the, the broker. Now I will program the start button to connect to the broker.
In this part of the program, I will check every 5 seconds the status of the connectivity to the broker and display it on the label. For that, you will need the clock component. When you use the app, you will notice that you will be disconnected after a certain time of inactivity. At that time, you need to reconnect by clicking on the start button. Here I'm testing uh, with my app. I advise you to use the connection state block to know more the state use. This is the documentation related to the block. As you can see, when I am connected, the block returns the number 2. Now I will add the two buttons that will publish on or off on the lighter topic. And uh, here we are. Let's try uh, our app. First, you need uh, to click on the starter to connect uh, to the broker. And after this, uh, click on on or uh, off.
I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye.